hey guys it's actually the end of the first week and the beginning of the second week so yeah i'm just gonna show you a little bit of how i wash my face which is something that i've done over and over in my previous um skincare reviews but i'll just show you because i feel like every face wash is different and i did tell you guys about this face wash and how it smells about this face wash and how it smells and I, I think I got used to this my look at that bubble <laughs> but anyways you're just gonna apply a little bit to your hand like so and then you're just gonna touch it with your fingertips like that and then you're going to brush your face I'm looking at myself in the mirror actually and then you're just going to you know form like a foamy I don't know how to say it, but make it foamy by rubbing it on your skin. And don't forget the forehead as well. If you feel like you need more, you can add more. But I'm just fine with this. And then, after like you've done brushing it onto your face and stuff or whatever, washing it. If you do have those face brushes or that sponge that people, most people use, you can also use that. And also your hands are also fine, guys, really. And then now I'm going to wash it off and then I'm going to come back. Okay, now that I've washed my face, I'm going to apply the vanishing cream. So I did show you guys this vanishing cream in the beginning. And it is for all control, but the consistency of it looks like it's very moisturizing actually on the skin. When I apply it, it is... It's not matte. It doesn't make me look like I haven't applied anything on my skin. It is actually like very moisturizing, which is weird because it's supposed to be matte and smooth. That's what it's written. It is smooth, but it's not matte. You know? But obviously, having dry skin, I obviously have to apply something else on my skin to make it like even more hydrated. You know, because with this, you see, I'm not mad, but, you know, I'm also not, like, oily, if you know what I'm saying, guys. And my skin does feel matte. It does feel very, like, tight. And I do feel as though I need to apply something else to just moisturize it. But with this review, we're not applying anything. And, guys, with regards to the um, toner that I said I'm going to have to get... Because I feel like you need a toner. I can't be applying two things on my skin. My skin doesn't, like it needs more than that, you know. And I've seen toners work very good on my type of skin. So with regards to the toner, I did ask somebody who is not too far from me to check the, the clicks in their area if they do have the toner. Because actually, I'm really not going to order it online. Seriously, I'm not going to order one thing online. So that's that. But I really need to get the toner, guys. I really, really need to get the toner. And also, guys, at the end of this video or during this video, while I'm editing, I'm going to be showing you guys the prices, how much the face wash is, the vanishing cream, and also the toner once I get it. And you, are, you will see, guys, it's literally probably under 150 for three things to use on your skin and for skincare you guys know skincare is very very expensive so spending 150 on your skin that's like a bargain you know and that's what i i like doing on my channel just showing you guys affordable skincare that is actually good for your skin because you don't want to be using some cheap ass skincare from the chinese store even though korean skincare is good and i would like to do it 
you know, in the near future. If I get a store that actually has, you know, products that go in order, like the face wash, the toner, the what, the what. But skincare, Korean skincare is very, like, how can I put it? It's very tricky because some of them is written in Korean or Chinese. I'm not really sure. I can't differentiate between the two languages. But it's it's you can't really read the directions you can't really read it well but we'll see guys along the way little by little we'll see i'll tell you guys you'll see when i actually do a review that oh it's actually time she actually got something from the um from korean skincare that she can actually use and give us a review other than that we're just gonna stick to our products our um, um drugstore skin care products yeah that's what i wanted to do so i will see you guys at the end of week two and the beginning of week three but for now let's check out my skincare at the end of week one actually the second week review of my skin and guys i almost didn't do this review or almost just stop this whole review process because i always say that my skin is not sensitive yeah that's why i do the skincare reviews in the first place because i know i don't have sensitive skin but this particular product I don't know if it's this product because I've been contemplating and I've been asking myself like what is happening to my skin so let's see what's happening to my skin because I've been developing pimples on my forehead on my chin and my skin is flaking I don't know if it's because winter is coming but I don't think that's that's a normal thing that happens to my skin but this time it has become worse and I think it's because of the, um, the vanishing cream since it has a matte and smooth finish so yeah because the vanishing cream is said to um, cutie cure vanishing cream with grapefruit extract is specially formulated to reduce oiliness and remove shine to give your skin a matte look and leave it leave it feeling soft, smooth and clear. So they say here for directions, for best results, first cleanse face and neck. Pat dry with the face with the clean towel. Carefully apply cuticle vanishing cream to your face. Rub gently until completely absorbed into the skin okay i've been doing that i mean these um directions are the simple directions on how to wash your face basically so yeah guys i'm really not happy but it's still the second week i have two more weeks to go so let's hope that um things will go better for my skin because at this point i'm not having any hope so before i continue to wash my face Let's look at my face and then I'm going to wash it and then I'm going to come back. So it's the third week of this cutie cura skincare review and I'm feeling much better about my skin because 
I think the pimples that I have are starting to peel off so I think that's a good thing I'm not too sure but you know guys with the skincare skincare reviews that I've be I've done with the skincare reviews that I've done in the past on my channel I've always known what's coming next but with this particular skincare I just don't know what is happening if you guys have used this kitty cura skincare before please tell me what are your experiences down in the comments and I've also seen like some reviews on Facebook on Twitter people are busy raving about it saying the kitty cura is the girl so yeah so guys I went to clicks a few days ago right to look for the um, the toner and I didn't find it obviously so I did go and get I, I remember I told you guys about the scrub right so I decided to get the scrub in a bar because okay this is how it looks like right it's written cuticura face bar scrub exfoliates and moisturizes it contains jojoba oil and it's for all skin types which I love because they don't care for dry skin anyway so the cutie Cura scrub face bar gently exfoliates dead skin dead skin cells while moisturizing your skin leaving it feeling smooth soft and clear yeah okay so this is how the bar looks like I want to smell it I love that they did like an individual packing of the actual bar hmm. smells nice hmm. let me see if it smells like the no it smells nicer but this also smells nice it smells like a, a regular bar of soap so yeah i'll be using this one you also can get this in liquid form as the face wash and you can also get this in this they also have a third one which i'll put on the screen because i'm not gonna buy everything guys i also put the other one they have three different types of it it's this blue one which is the scrub they have it in a face wash and they also have it in um vanishing cream and then they have the purple one they have it in face wash and a soap and they also have the orange in <laughs> in the vanishing cream and a bar of soap i hope you get it guys it's just three different colors with three different things that it does to the skin like mm. depending on whether what you want to get out of the skincare basically so what i'm what i'm going to be using today is just this face bar and this that's all and yeah let's get into washing our face and i'll come back So I did brush my face and wipe it and I'm going to tell you guys about this soap when I'm washing my face using it it does feel like I'm using like a vanishing cream on my face washing myself with the vanishing cream because of how much like it, it just I don't, know. I don't know if it's the jojoba oil that is used in the soap but it is really really moisturizing but yeah after i finished washing my face and it's dried now i do feel dry so let me put the oil smooth oil control matte and smooth vanishing cream so guys reasons why i do these skincare reviews is that people always complain and say that skincare is expensive people can't afford skincare but guys you can really afford skincare with under 200 rand i know it sounds crazy but if i can tell you the soap i spent like 22 rand on it the face wash i think was 40 
let's say 40 to 60 but i will put the prices on the screen at the end of my review and this was 40 i'm not sure guys but the prices will be on the screen you will see it's probably a 150 in all in all and then if you do have like the the toner at your nearest clicks please 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 do buy it it will help a lot you'll probably get better rules you'll probably get better results than i am and the specific the specific skincare which is cutie cure is is like good on people who have acne i've seen people do reviews on it who had like the worst acne and it helped clear it out so if you do have acne as well please do try the skincare for only 200 rand guys like you use it for like three months i think depending on how much you wash your skin a day wash your face a day i mean so yeah guys so let's look at my skin for the third week and next week is the last and final week so we do the last and final review of the skincare i'm so excited to post this video you know shooting content for four weeks is like who and you guys are probably wondering when is this girl posting and i'm busy filming for four weeks for you guys so i really hope you appreciate this anyway let's look at my skin and i will catch you guys on week four Hey guys, we've reached the fourth and final week of this review and i'm going to tell you guys how i feel about this particular product which is cutie cura um i've done reviews before and most of the time i don't have sensitive skin so most of the time i really i, I usually do get the results that i'm looking for when doing a review on the particular skincare but with this one i was just so excited because i've been like seeing really really good reviews online about it people are raving about it like and this is an old product you guys they were like doing things for when you have sores or scars and stuff like that you know but now that they've um then now that they've expanded their range into skincare you know i really was excited to try it and People were raving about it that it has helped them with acne and stuff like that so i was like you know what i'm gonna get some good results from this product but i didn't in fact i feel like my skin is the same the second week i was really really like i was ready to quit i was like if you guys are seeing this video you know that things became better but i was really ready to quit because i was starting to get pimples on my face and I was thinking to myself, what is happening? Like, obviously, people who have acne, it has healed their acne. But I don't have acne, so now am I getting acne? <laughs> you know, so I was like, you know what, just push, push, push. Maybe this is how it works. Maybe it does, like, make you break out and then eventually your skin is better and stuff like that, you know? So, I continued with it and, you know... Two weeks later, I felt like my skin is still the same. As you guys know, I did add this um, face bar, which is a scrub, into the skincare. And yeah, I was using this and I think the pimples did clear up. My skin is back to where it was before I started using the skincare. So I don't really have much to say about it. I'm really sad about that but if you do have acne please do try cutie cura i've seen great reviews just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you and yeah overall i think the skincare is for people that have skin problems i don't think it's for people like me who have normal skin because not like my skin is perfect but i don't have any like problems i think the only problem that i have with my skin is the dark marks that um, pimples usually leave on my skin other than that I don't have acne and hyperpigmentation I think I do on my forehead but yeah guys um 
we're going to do the last and final review and then we're gonna wrap up all of this i am gonna write the prices for everything i'm going to put all the other products also on the screen that they have and then you can just check it out including the toner which i didn't get unfortunately but yeah in the last two weeks or week i was using this face bar i love this a lot more than i do this i don't think this does anything for me you know because it says it cleanses and nourishes it does cleanse but i'm not sure about nourishing um so yeah um, yeah because this gentle cleansing wash says it removes dirt grime and makeup which cause which may cause problem skin leaving your skin nourished and cared for so it's probably for like removing makeup or something but i do recommend this 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 really do recommend this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to wash my face with this come back and moisturize using this oil control vanishing cream and then we're going to wrap up the end of this review so guys that's the end of this skincare review please do um write in the comments any other skincare that you'd like me to try and review i would really really like to review a few more affordable skincare i might say i don't really want to try out the expensive ones because i feel as though this um channel is about like skincare that is affordable so that's the type of skincare that i want to review on this channel and yeah let's take a look at my face for the last time using this product and but overall guys i don't really have a problem with tisukura i just don't think it's for me which is okay because not all skin products are going to work on my skin you know i'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with my skin i'm still trying to figure out what works for me so i'm on this journey just as much as you guys are on this journey to find out what works for your skin type you know so yeah see you next time in another video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join this family see you again in my next video bye